Well, happy Saturday, everybody. I just uh, thought I would come out and show you what we've been doing this weekend. It's been pretty, pretty productive here at the Jazz Farm. Uh, I'm standing in my barn looking out at our new chicken tractor because if I walk out there, the wind is just going to obscure the microphone. So I thought I would talk here and then just do a walk around. Uh, my son put this together today. We got it from McMurray Hatcheries, our, one of their suppliers, and he assembled the thing for us. And it's a really neat design. He just is convinced that we need to fire their manual writer because it was a fairly difficult thing to understand. I helped him decipher some of it, but we ended up with one piece when we first started. We had no idea where it went. And eventually we were able to kind of figure the whole thing out. Uh, some assembly required. <laughs> And also, we now have the main lines for the drip irrigation run to the greenhouse. Uh, it's coming up from our basement where I'm going to plumb a water tank. Right now, it'll just run off the hose off the well, but that way we'll have water up to the greenhouse on a timer, so we don't have to worry about watering it every day, which is kind of neat. Uh, so we're ready to plant, and we're pretty happy about that. Sorry about the, the jiggling. I just had a fly fly in my face. And as we speak, if she hasn't suffered from heat exhaustion yet, my wife is out in the garden taking it back from the weeds. It's behind that brown fence. Uh, we'll get out there sometime. And so most of the major projects are done for the year. So we're going to be able to spend this year kind of just gardening and taking care of critters and enjoying the, first, the, the place for the first time in, well, three and a half years since we, took, when we, since we bought it. And prior to that, it, you know, it's rounded up just about four years that we went through finding it, purchasing it, refurbishing it, building it all out, and now here we are. So, but anyway, with a chicken tractor, if you don't know how those work, the broiler chicks go in here, the, the tops lift up, and I'll do a walk around here in a minute. They live inside of there, and each day you just move it one length of the tractor. So it gets on to new grass and they can eat bugs and weeds and grass and so forth and they don't have to sit in their own mess, which chickens that are you're raising for meat are quite messy. Uh, this box in the back is a feeder. The lid lifts up and it'll hold several bags of food so you don't have to feed them quite as often because the food just goes along with them. Now the back side here, the solid piece, is, uh, is kind of a shelter from the weather and then you can see on the other side it's kind of perforated and that's for them to be able to be out in in the in the sun and the reason for that obviously is you want them to be able to have as free a life as possible but this chicken tractor isn't to imprison them it's to protect them from predators and we have plenty of those so here's i'll just do a walk through to show you how it works and i'll start with the feeder box it just feeds inside the itself, the lid that flips down. Then we have the inside of the shelter itself. You can see, they get to live inside of here. It's not going to be very broad. That's what the inside looks like. Just lifts up and flips down. and what have you. And it lifts up. It's a pretty neat gizmo. So, I'm going to give you kind of a full shot here. That's it. 